Blessings, everybody, on the ending of this Sabbath day. Uh, I will name this video, Who Will You Serve? I'm going to read from Joshua. And Joshua gathered all the tribes of Israel to Shechem. He assembled the leaders, heads, judges, and officials of Israel, and they presented themselves before God. Joshua said to all the people, This is what Adonai, the God of Israel, says. In... <clears throat> Ancient years, ancient, your ancestors lived on the other side of the Frati River. Touch the father of Abraham and N A C H O R, and they served other gods. Yes, they did. I took your ancestor, Abraham, from beyond the river, led him through all the land of the K-N-E-N-A-A-N, -E increased his descendants, gave him Y-I-T-Z-C-H-A-K, I, I gave to Y-I-T-Z-C-H-A-K and Y-A-A-K-O-V and E-S-A-V to E-S-A-V. I gave Mount Sinai as he presented, but yet and his children went down into Egypt. I sent Moses and Aaron. I inflicted plagues on Egypt and acquainted us with what I did among them. And afterwards I brought you out. Yes, I brought your fathers out of Egypt. You arrived at the sea and the Egyptians were pursuing your ancestors with chariots and horsemen to the Sea of Surf. But when they carried out, cried out to Adonai, he put darkness between you and the Egyptians, overwhelmed them with your, with, overwhelmed them with the sea and drowned them. Yes, your eyes saw what I did in Egypt. Then you lived in the desert for a long time. I brought you into the land of the Ammonites, living beyond the Jordan. They fought against you, but I hardened them, handed them over to you. You took possession of their land. I destroyed them ahead of you. Then Barak, the son of Tzippor, king of Moran, rose up and fought against Israel. He sent and summoned Balaam, the son of Borah, to put a curse on you. But I refused to listen to B-I-L-A-I-M, and he actually blessed you. In this way, I re... re R E S C U E D U from him, rescued you from him. Next, you cross the Jordan and come to Y E R I C H O, Jericho. Or y y Jericho. The men of Jericho fought against you. The Ammonites, Perizzites, 
play E in A A in I. Hittites. G I R G A S H I, and the Hivites, and Y V U S I. I handed them over to you. I sent the hornets ahead of you. Hornets. Ooh, they're awful steamers. Driving them out from ahead of you. What? Okay, honey. At the two kings of E-M-O-R-I, it wasn't by your sword or your by bow. Then I gave you a land where you had not walk, worked and cities you had not built. And you lived there. You ate fruit from the vineyards, olive groves, which you did not plant. Therefore, fear Adonai and serve him truly and sincerely. Put away the gods your ancestors served beyond the Euphrates River and in Egypt and serve, and serve Adonai. If it seems hot, bad to you to serve Adonai, then choose today whom you are going to serve. Sir, choose today who you will serve. Will it be the God your ancestors served beyond the river? Or the God of E-M-O-R-I, in whose land you are living? As for me and my house, we will serve Adonai. Now we have come to a point in the journey in our life that the Antichrist is about to arise. Our churches have taught pagan worship that Constantine brought in and they refused to lay them aside when the Reformation happened in, when they come out of the Catholic Church instead of putting away what holy merly <laughs> I got candy yay Go ahead and, and brownies. And brownies. But go ahead and put that on the table and I'll come in and get it directly. Thank you, honey. Wow. Praise the Lord. I was wanting some chocolate. But anyway, we have come into this period of time. I gotta have a taste. I'm sorry. My friend makes the best brownies. Oh, mm, 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 mm. good. Makes you almost melt. But <clears throat> as time is about to change, things are about to change. This whole earth is about to change. We're coming to a time we must make a decision. Who will we serve? The God who created us? His Son who bled and died for us? Or will we be caught up with the mess of the fantasy of what is going to about happen up here on earth. Blinding many people's eyes and deceiving many people and taking them away from the walk with Yeshua, Jesus Christ. The time of great sorrow and distress is about to befall us. The time of delusion and mysticism is about to befall us. 
And in all of this mess that's going to rise up and corrupt the whole world, who will you serve? You need to make a decision right now, tonight, on who you serve. As I just got through saying what Joshua said, as far as me and my household, we will serve the Lord God Almighty and Jesus Christ, our Messiah. That's who we will serve. Of coming to you to invest in you some wisdom of God, how he loves you, how his son died for you, and how when the evil one comes in great destruction and delusion, showing signs and wonders in the sky and on earth that you haven't seen. It's spoken of in the Bible, but you have not literally seen it. It will be a delusion of magnitude proportion. That's why we need to set our mind right now on who we're going to serve. We need to set our heart on who we will follow. I pray that this message goes out to those that are right now going, should I or should I not? Should I do this? Should I do that? Well, get the Bible and start reading it, and it will tell you very plainly what you should do and what you should not do during these great troubled days that is upon us and that's growing intense. We can see that disease has already broken out upon this earth. The Ebola is covering Africa, killing many, even being found in other countries, destroying people. The time of great judgment is upon this earth. And I pray for you and your soul and your household, your children, your mates that you are married to, that you will all together decide to serve the Lord God Almighty, God the Father, Yahweh, and Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. It is important to plant your feet firmly in solid ground and walk continuously in His light and in His way. I felt strongly led to put this out tonight because I feel like there's some people out there that are on the verge of a cliff and they're about to step off into the abyss. It's time to make your decision now. I will end this now and pray that your decisions will be made according to God's will and that your family and you will be mighty blessed in Him. So, in the name of Yeshua, I bless everyone out there that hears this video. And Father, I'm asking you to let them make the right decision tonight in your holy name. Amen and amen. In Jesus' name.